All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got some cattle in the road. Hopefully no bulls. Looks to me like a mama cow, three mama cows and one baby. So I'm just gonna kind of ease up on them, try to get around them. But you know, they're already spooking. They're already running down the road. So I better play it safe because I could get plowed over. And this is why I've got to just really stay alert and be ready for anything, you know? They might try to attack me to protect that baby. There's just so much distance between the barbed wire fences on either side of the road. I've got to get by. I'm gonna be patient though. I'm just gonna ride along and let them wear themselves out. As long as they're running away and not towards me. I'm probably better off. Just gonna go slow. Let them go faster than me. Pretty young calf they got with them. They're keeping a good pace though, that's good. Not slowing me down too much. looking for a weak spot in the fence but now they're still going poop all over in the road it's good if they're scared of me when they're running away I mean it's good that they're running away but if they're scared of me and they charge me that's bad that's what we want to avoid Hopefully there's a place up here in the bend where the road's about to turn. Hopefully there's a place where they can get out of the way. Well, I don't know. I can't remember what it looks like up here. I'd like them to kind of go straight and go in the corner or go in the bushes. Now they've gone around the bend where I can't see them. So, who knows how long we're going to have to follow them. Hopefully they've moved on down. We don't want to be like right up on them when we come around this bend. All right, they're way down there. I was hoping there was a place right there where they could get out of the way, but it's really not. So it's gonna be hard for them to get up this hill. But we've got to give them time to do it. Uh, now they're slowing down. I don't know where these cows are from or where they're going.
Okay, they're getting over there to the right. Is that safe for me? I don't know. I can't see. I can't see how far they can go over there. So it's kind of dangerous for me, y'all. So I'm just going to climb this hill. And uh, I'm going to stay over on this side. But, you know, we don't want a tra car or truck to come charging over the hill either. So we'll just take it slow. And hope those cows are able to get far enough out of the way to where they don't feel cornered when I get up here. I don't want them to feel cornered like they have to plow over me. All right, it looks like they found a weak spot in the fence and just jumped over it. Yeah, this fence is pretty weak. It's like one strand of barbed wire, so. They, they jumped over the fence right here. We're good. All right. Those situations always stress me out. It's harder to defend yourself against a 2,000-pound animal than it is against a 100-pound or 70-pound animal. That is for sure. All right, on we go. We got another cow. Oh man, what if these are those three, same three cows? I think they are. I think they cut across this field. So we've gone like three quarters of a mile without them in front of us. I think they ran through this private property and then over this fence. It's the same cattle. Uh, yep, look, the fence is down right here, so they just cut across this property. That's not good, because now we have to deal with them still. Who knows where these cows are from? So they cut the corner, we didn't. These fences are bad. Just falling down in places. They're going through the fence again. There they go, over the fence. They're going down a pretty steep slope. I hope they don't get injured, but you know, they're not out in the road to injure me. So that's the goal. That's what I want. Let's see. Hopefully they don't come out of the woods again. Yeah, there they are. They're up there. Okay, so, God. Please don't come out into the road again. They're, they're going that way. Man, they might come back out in the road in front of us. I sure hope not. to get in front of them they're they're right there they're right there we don't want them to come out in the road in front of us i got to get around this bend before they pop out in the road Ugh. all right we're good they're back there now we've got them behind us finally okay now on we go huh.
they may not have teeth, but when they're that big and they're afraid of you and they're in fight or flight mode and they decide to fight, you don't want to be on a bicycle right next to them. They will plow over you.